Welcome back to the channel. This is the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra and it's running uh, Android 16 one year 8.5, just days before the beta. This is iPhone 16 Pro Max running the latest iOS 26. This is the Oppo Find X9 Pro, the Chinese version with Android 16 and Color OS 16. And last but not least, the small phone here is the Pixel 10 Pro. Again, running with Android 16, I'm using the latest QPI build. Something very important, Pixel system-wide icon teaming was launched with Android 16 QPR to update. I'm gonna show to you how this looks like and I do believe that this is very important. It allows you to keep things very uniform and if you wanna go into customization, specifically the way you perceive your home screen and everything around it, I think it's a must. No third-party apps, no paid apps, everything stock. Let's start with the Pixel right now. You can see I have all my icons here with the, all the colors absolutely stock. When I click here and I go to wallpapers and style, um, there's gonna be an option called icons. And you can see team icons is selected as better. So I can select this and from here I can apply it. Uh, and it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Not only my social apps, but also Google apps, all the system apps, all the applications on my phone that are on my home screen are going to be beautifully themed. And then again, this really elevates the whole experience with you modding your phone. Now pay attention on the Pixel, this works only on the home screen because when I go inside my drawer, yeah, the app drawer will show me all the nice and beautiful colors. Now let's check the iPhone. We know in the recent years, Apple are trying to kind of compensate for how much iOS was limited and let's say restricted in so many ways and areas. But in iOS 26, they added this edit menu from where you can click customize. And of course you can use the clear glass icon pack where all the icons are going to look like made out of glass. But if that's not your thing, you can always click the tinted. And from here, you can actually go crazy and choose the color that you want. You try to find a fancy color like this, for example. The moment I exit, all the icons, but even widgets on my iPhone are going to be beautifully themed in the folders everywhere. It's just going to look stunning. Now, what about Android 16 and One UI 8.5 on my S25 Ultra? You think that this works and it actually does to some extent. When I go inside the color palette, there's gonna be apply palette to up icons. And the moment I click and I go outside, you can see theming is applied and it's going to work beautifully on all my social apps and it's gonna work beautifully on all my Google apps. And then of course, all the Samsung stock apps are gonna be absolutely and beautifully themed until you just go to the next page and you see that Gallery Assistant and Game Booster and Game Hub are not themed. But not only this, when I go back to my home screen, you can see Mixcloud is also not themed. And now it's time to check what happens with the Oppo Find X9 Pro. I click here and then I click on the wallpaper and style, and then I click icons, and then I just select the first option, which is the flux one. The moment I hit apply, everything is going to be absolutely and beautifully themed. All my social apps, all the Google apps, all the system apps, and then also every app that actually is not supported because it's system-wide theming. And now pay attention, this is my app drawer on the Pixel 10 Pro, no theming here. I have theming everywhere on all the categories, and even in the regular app drawer, which is absolutely and beautifully implemented by Oppo in ColorOS 16. So I really believe that Samsung still have to walk that way until they just manage to fully implement system-wide icon theming. And I really hope that this is gonna happen very, very soon with One UI 8.5 better starting. Let's check something else that is interesting. I'm going to apply dark mode on my Oppo Find X9 Pro. And you can see guys, it also modifies the icons. Uh, in dark mode, which is absolutely fantastic. Now pay attention, uh, this is uh, in the dark mode. Uh, now I'm going to switch dark mode off and you can see theming is still applied, but yeah, the way Oppo are doing it is absolutely fantastic. Let's try to test this on my Pixel. I'm currently using the dark mode. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to disable the dark mode and yeah, beautiful, right? So uh, this system, white theming on the icons for me is an absolute must it should be stock again no third-party apps no paid apps it should be stock functionality ios can do it colorOS can do it pixel i can do it and i really hope that one ui 8.5 will be able to do it as well let me know what you think down below in the comments everybody stay safe vst over and bye